This is the third video on this channel. That means I actually have to show some personality now. I've been seeing a lot of those aesthetic lookbook videos and I've been really enjoying watching them. And I had this idea. Why don't I make a lookbook? But this time, I'll drizzle a little medical twist to it. So I thought I'd make a lookbook on Scrubs based on one of my favorite TV shows, Grey's Anatomy. This video is also inspired by KDU's college majors lookbook. You guys should check her out. I really like her videos and the aesthetic and how she edits them and all that. Quick disclaimer, these looks are inspired by the scenes or the dialogues in Grey's Anatomy, emphasis on scenes. These looks are not necessarily what nurses wear in reality to their specific areas because it still varies based on workplace policy. I had so much fun doing this video and editing it, so on that note, roll the clip. But first, cue the theme music. Nobody knows where we might end up. Nobody knows. Okay, she's full on the recipe. He's had four milligrams. You took page Dr. Bailey and Dr. Shepard. The recipe pan's not working. Phenobarbital. Load her with phenobarbital. Phenos in. No change. You page Dr. Shepard. I just told you. Well, page him again. Staff. What do you want to do? Doctor, what you need to tell us what you want to do. Now starting off with the med surge nurse, I'm just sporting this all blue classic scrubs with these gray sneakers. They are the backbone of the institution, so med surge or bedside nurses are not to be played with. And I salute these nurses because they have a very broad and comprehensive workload. You guys know the drill, keep wearing that mask. Again, I salute these nurses because they have a lot of experience and exposure in the clinical area since most of their patients are acutely ill or post-surgical or those with a lot of diseases or cases going on. Shh. I think that there's something coming from your pocket. Is Sage inside your pocket? No, no. Um, she's hiding here. Gotta look in your pocket first. No, I don't, because I found you already. Now I just need to check your incision site, so... Don't touch it, it hurts. You know, I bet that Mr. Bear would like to see Sage's scar. Wouldn't you, Mr. Bear? Oh, um... Yes, I would! <clears throat> This printed scrub top is very much inspired by Mr. Bear and I just paired it with blue bottoms and some blue Nikes. Now I don't know if it's just me but I feel like being a pediatric nurse or a peds nurse takes a certain level of hardcore. It's one thing to learn about humans but learning about tiny humans, that is hardcore. Of course I had to pull off the entire thing with a pink stethoscope. Conveniently enough, I have a balloon that says baby girl around my house and I have a Mr. Bird, not a Mr. Bear. Also, it takes patience to be a peds nurse because not only do they deal with children, but infants and late teens as well, and also their caregivers and their families. Try to keep the burn unit in the trauma rooms clear and call respiratory. We need ventilators on standby. The burn victim and her kid. Take your pick. Okay, on my count. One, two, three. Okay, I want a CBC chem panel and make sure there's an OR ready. Wait, wait, just stop. Uh, I need to see what I'm looking at. Um, you have steady. Move, she needs a crike. I am back. She's got no landmarks. I was hoping that she would. What are you. You're going in blind? Just right here. The ER nurse or the trauma nurse are what I'd like to call the rock and roll nurses, hence the all black in this look. And since there's a lot of blood and body fluids involved in trauma,
As you saw in the clips, ER nurses are supposed to be quick and they have to be fast on their feet in order to give that urgent treatment. To be an ER nurse requires you to have a high stress tolerance and this is actually my second favorite area. I don't know why, maybe I just love to put myself under stress. Just kidding. I think it's because I work better under pressure, that's probably why I like the ER too. That one? A seven layer cake for that one's birthday from scratch. Oh, oh, oh and, and that one? That one's a girlfriend is taking him skiing this weekend. Oh, this one's the best. Okay, this one gets to leave to go get a facial. And she told her attending. And her attending was happy because they have to have facials. They're dermatologists. I mean, oh my god, the hospital has hired someone to rub them full time. I bet their boyfriends don't go digging around in their closets without asking. Now this look was cute. I really liked it. Look at it. Look at the purple and the heart. Yes. This chill, bright look was mainly inspired by the colors in that scene and the dialogue. But there is nothing chill about being a dermatology nurse because besides the laser treatments or the surgeries for cosmetic purposes, they also treat wounds and skin diseases and burn injuries. Please tell me someone knows this reference. And this is what it looks like with a scrub top not tucked in. Derm nurses require attention to detail and they're very crucial in maintaining the body's largest organ, which is our skin. Just pour the beta dot straight onto the chest. It doesn't need to be pretty. We need to get in there. The last but definitely not the least one is my favorite, the OR nurse or the operating room nurse. I wore some nice blue scrubs and I paired them with white crocs. Also, I was trying to find a disposable scrub cap but I couldn't find one so I just have this printed one with some cherries. And is that not the cutest thing? So an OR nurse has responsibilities before, during, and after surgeries. It requires you to think fast as well and have a broad knowledge of medical terminologies. Also, I love doing this pose. I don't know, being in the OR is kind of like a form of art. And they used to call the operating rooms operating theater. I mean, you can still call them that. But I wish operating theater was more commonly used like, you know, back in the day. As you saw in the clips, OR nurses are very vital in surgeries and it requires you to be able to work in a very high pressured environment. Did you like it? I hope you did. Comment down below which one was your favorite area or scrub look because I really had fun doing all these looks. Or comment down below if you love Grey's Anatomy and if you have a favorite character. My favorite was Dr. Alex Karev because he had a really good like plot and character development and special thanks to my mother for letting me use her old scrubs i don't know why i forgot to mention her but nurse boki is also one of my favorite characters if you love grays you know she's an icon she's a legend she's been there since the first episode until now fun fact she's an actual scrub nurse in real life if you like this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up share follow me on my instagram subscribe and stay for a while